What's up, y'all? Jay up here again with another video. And this time, I um, decided to shoot this before I started my workout today. It's day 16 in the asylum, and I got speed and agility. I've uploaded this workout before, so if you haven't seen it, go to my YouTube channel, JD Hop 0610. Comment and hit that subscribe button. Y'all know what to do. But anyway, uh, this is going to be the second video in my nutrition series. So I think maybe I got two or three left. Um, I don't know yet. So today I'm going to be talking about eating less more often or eating five small meals a day. Um, chances are if you've done Insanity or P90X and you read the nutrition guide, um, you know that Tony Horton and Sean T preach that eating five meals a day is important to a good nutrition. So um, it's pretty arguable that five times, even five times a day may not be beneficial over eating just your regular three meals a day. But I do honestly believe that eating five times a day is better. At first, you know, you're thinking like, man, that's a lot of, you know, meals you got to eat and stuff like that. But if you play your way around it and kind of be smart, um, you know, it's easy. It's not like you eat, you know, a full course, five full course meals a day. That's not what it is. Uh, but I'll get into that a little bit. So um, just real quick, why I think it's important, I have made about three reasons just from my own experiences and, you know, kind of reading up and researching on some things like that. Um, and I've come to the conclusion that eating five times a day is probably better for you than eating three times a day. But really at the end of the day, it's it's really about how many calories you take in and you know uh, how often you work out and stuff like that you know calories in calories out stuff like that um, you know that's the single equation that's going to help you with weight loss but I think you can get an extra edge by uh, portioning out your meals throughout the day so let's get started first reason is I think it will help you avoid overeating I know I kind of notice this myself um, you know if I'm eating three times a day chances are I'm waiting too long in between meals I'm getting real hungry and your mind is like you know eat whatever is in sight so you're going to McDonald's you're going to KFC you're getting the biggest combo you can find you're going to China Buffet you eating everything you see so um, I'd rather avoid that by not getting hungry at all so eating five meals a day helps me to avoid that uh, so that's reason number one reason number two it's not fully proven, but um, you know, it's believed that eating five times a day, eating five small meals a day, can help you know kick up your metabolism and keep it up throughout the day, helping you burn more calories. Uh, so that's reason number two, even though it's not fully proven. So, uh, and reason number three, um, let's see, uh, forgot my reason number three, uh, regulates blood sugar. Or it keeps your blood sugar, you know, even, which makes you feel energized throughout the day. And I noticed that I'm not really sluggish throughout my day. So, you know, I, if most of y'all knows y'all go eat that lunch and, you know, you eat that big lunch and most of y'all feel tired, you know, maybe that's the reason why. Because you're not, you know, eating your small, eating those few small meals throughout the day. So, um, yeah, those are my three reasons. And... Before I go, because I really don't want to keep this video too long, I went longer than I really wanted to yesterday. Um, I'm just kind of give y'all an example of what I do um, as far as eating five meals a day. How you want to break this down? Of course, you want to have you know breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then you want to have your in between snacks, in between breakfast and lunch, and in between lunch and dinner, of course. Um, now I try to keep my meals about three to four hours apart from each other. So that, you know, I find that schedule kind of keeps me, you know, um, keeps my body right. So um, let's take an example. Uh, so today I got up, I had me some Kashi Go Lean cereal um, and an egg sandwich, egg muffin sandwich. A um, few hours after that, I had my in-between snack now, um, which was basically a nutrition bar and I had half a peanut butter sandwich. My third meal was a turkey burger. I have not eaten anything else today yet, but um, I think it's about that time to kind of get something else in my body. So, uh, of course y'all know about lunch, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. 
So let's let's leave that out of the equation. Let's talk about snacking because I think that's what's gonna what it what it comes down to those in between meals that really help you out. Because let's face it, most of us don't have the time to sit up here and make five meals a day. I know I don't, so I have to rely on stuff that I can get in pretty quick. You know, this is definitely gonna help y'all guys out there that are in retail and y'all stand up all day. Pretty much, if you're not in an office environment, you know, this is gonna help you out, and you're a pretty busy person. Uh, so, let's say in between, I usually have a snack snacks that I recommend are nutrition bars protein shakes um, you know maybe a quick sandwich you might can whip up fruit or um, this one I just started doing which is string cheese well I'm not doing it right now because I'm not taking it any dairy but uh, I recommend string cheese uh, I hope y'all don't hear that baby crying outside they messing up my video but I'm gonna keep going anyway uh, so those are some of the um, meals that I recommend that you have in between dinner and uh, breakfast or lunch and I'm, I'm confusing myself y'all know what I'm saying uh, also include yogurt in that so um, I think that's that should do it I think I gave y'all everything I can on that uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right here before I babble on any longer peace